हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते दिस इज शमी हरिंस एंड वेलकम बैक टू योर वेल्थ इंडिया टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आवर डिस्कशन इन द स्टॉक मार्केट इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लेलिस्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन दिस प्लेलिस्ट इन केस यू हैवेंट वॉच देम ऑलरेडी आई वुड सजेस्ट यू टू गो राइट अवे एंड वॉच देम आई विल पोस्ट द लिंक ऑफ द प्ले लिस्ट इन द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो In those videos I touched upon few terms and concepts related to stock market in order for the new investors to acclimatize to this world of stock market it's just like testing the waters before you make a dive and now it's time to uh, shift gears and go to the next level and start discussing about stock market analysis and uh, we are going to start that with the topic and introduction to stock market analysis now this is a very important step that many people uh, skip and then only to regret it later so it's very important that you watch this complete video thoroughly mainly because uh, of the technology there is so much abundance of information that it kind of becomes easy at the same time also confusing to invest in stock market through a set of curated videos in the playlist i will try to address this problem so without further ado let's start today's video there are many types and methods to analyze stock market but in the end the objective of all of these analysis is to predict the movement of stock price of a company and let me first give you a disclaimer that predicting this is impossible unless the stock is being manipulated the analysis is only going to help you predict the stock price movement with greater probability of success and before we step right into it one might wonder why there are so many types of analysis one reason is as mentioned before that predicting the stock price is not an absolute science here 2 plus 2 do not always give you a 4 hence there are different ways and methods to increase this probability of prediction second reason is that there are many factors that influence the movement of stock price different methods and techniques analyze the impact of these various different factors for example profit of a company is one of the key factors that decide the stock price movement analyzing the financial statements of the companies along with its current stock price can help you predict the stock price would go up or it would go down or probably just remain the same in near future all the different types of analysis are bucketed into three categories fundamental analysis technical analysis and sentimental analysis fundamental analysis involves analyzing the financial health and performance of a company by looking at its financial statements management industry trends and macroeconomic factors goal of fundamental analysis is to determine whether a stock is undervalued or overvalued let us assume a company with current stock price at 200 rupees now post fundamental analysis let us say we calculated the value of the company based on which we derived the ideal stock price if the ideal stock price comes to be around 250 then we say that the stock is undervalued and in near future we can expect the stock price to reach the values of 250 however if the ideal value comes to be around 150 instead then we say that the stock is overvalued and can expect the stock price to come down up to the levels of 150 technical analysis is a method of evaluating stocks by analyzing statistics generated by market activities such as past price and volume It is based on idea that market trends, patterns and behaviors can be identified and analyzed to predict future price movements. Technical analysts use a variety of tools and techniques such as charts and indicators to identify patterns and trends in market data. They look for signals such as support and resistance levels, trend lines and moving averages that suggest future price movements. Some common technical indicators used by analysts are moving averages, relative strength index and Bollinger bands. 
Let us come back to the example of a company whose stock price is at 200. Now we will need some past historic data as well for doing technical analysis. Now after doing fundamental analysis, we realize that the stock is undervalued as its current stock price should have been 250. So we can expect the stock price to grow to 250 eventually. But it is not that plain simple. Let us say I go to a website and use another additional chart which shows behavior of technical indicator with time. And based on the rules, currently it is showing a signal to sell. In that case, it becomes likely for the stock price to continue to fall for some more time before rising to 250. Investors should then wait for signal to buy from the technical indicator chart to make decision on buying the stock. Sentimental analysis can be useful in analyzing stocks as it can help identify the overall sentiment or attitude of investors towards a particular stock or stock market as a whole. By analyzing social media posts, news articles and other sources of information, sentiment analysis tool can identify whether the overall sentiments towards a stock is positive, negative or neutral. If the sentiment analysis detects a lot of positive sentiment towards a particular stock, it could indicate that investors are optimistic about its prospect and may be more likely to invest in it. On the other hand, if sentiment analysis tool detects a lot of negative sentiment towards a stock, it could indicate that the investors are pessimistic about its prospects and may be less likely to invest in it. However, it is important to note that the sentimental analysis is not always accurate and should be used as just one tool in your larger investment strategy. So how does one decide which analysis to use while investing in stock market? Well, investors can use these categories of analysis either alone or probably in combination of either two or probably all the three of them based on the vision of investment. For example, someone who is looking at long term benefits with minimum possible risk would use fundamental analysis alone. And someone who is looking at stock market as primary source of income would probably use technical analysis alone. So one can choose their combination based on their expected rate of return and risk exposure. In the coming videos, we will be discussing the various possible combinations of these strategies.